we have Hunter Salas, a five-star guard out of Nebraska. If you like my content, do me a solid by sharing and subscribing to my tiny YouTube channel. I hope you enjoy the video. Salas is 6'4", looking to be the highest ranked recruit from Nebraska ever. Ranked 19th nationally and the number two ranked combo guard in the country. He's being pursued by a number of schools, including Creighton, Oregon, North Carolina, Louisville, UCLA, Michigan, Kansas, Nebraska, and Gonzaga. His player comp is going to be former Lehigh standout and lottery pick CJ McCollum. Versatile guards who can initiate offense from the point or play off the ball and be more of a scorer. Elite in the mid-range, solid from distance, and great handling the ball and attacking. Salas is more explosive, but their games are pretty similar. Athleticism is going to be an A+. At 6'4", he can finish well over the rim and can challenge anyone at the hoop. He showcases his athleticism in transition when he hits the paint and when he uses it to overwhelm players on the defensive end with not only his length, but his quickness and explosiveness. He picks his spots, but he's really dangerous if you don't box him out. He can finish on top of you and draw fouls in the process. Attacking off the bounce and his driving and handle ability, it's gonna be an A+. He has a very quick handle. As a three-level guy, he's attacking similarly pretty much every single time. The difference is you don't know where he's gonna take advantage of the defense. He uses all parts of his game to set up the next move. It starts with how he attacks. He's so explosive and changes speeds that you don't expect the physicality in his drives that comes along with it. Uh, it makes him a really tough assignment. Accelerates quickly towards the paint, then shifts his strides and footwork to finish at the basket. His driving ability sets up his mid-range jumper, which is an A+. This is his bread and butter. He has an A+, in two other categories, but, but this is what really separates him. Um, once again, he's a three-level scorer. He scores at all phases of the game, but he is very dangerous between 12 and 18 feet. He uses his athleticism and his handle to change speeds and hesitate. This gets the defense on their heels a lot, then rises up and shows a pretty touch with a high release and smooth stroke. Three-point shooting is a B plus. He's best when shooting off the dribble. He's not going to run off screens much or flare screens or anything like that, but he has to get more consistent in spot ups when he's off the ball. He's very quick right now where he'll just catch it and use his talent to get by the defender, but at the next level, defenses will learn to close out short to see if he knocks down a couple before adjusting. Overall, he's one of the best three-level scorers in the country and is dangerous off the bounce. He'll be a pro before too long, so wherever he goes, he'll only be there for one to two years. And I can't guard me